Hi everyone, it's Sean from Sean Crafty and I'm at my craft chair in my office, not in my room yet. But I have today a book that I was going to help promote for Heather at Strings and Threads. And she has done a book with all her dice bags in it. And she has this on Amazon and you can order it on Amazon, the Kindle version, a hardback copy, and a paperback copy. And I will hopefully have the link in the description below to uh, that ordering on Amazon if you would like the, the book. She graciously gave me a copy of it and I have it here in my folder. Or my notebook and hopefully I can get the picture to changed around <laughs> anyways I wanted to share with you what I done from her book and her dice bags are pretty amazing I've never thought of doing dice bags which are just bags that are for gamer people who have the dice and stuff but you can use the bags for anything and I think any kid would love any of the bags if they you know love that type of animal or thing and so first of all i wanted to show the two dice bags that i made um, i was trying to make the turtle dice bag but my yarn that i was using i didn't like so i need to do that over again but hopefully in the future i will show you that when when i do get it made but the one I did made, I made two, and I have them here with me. And of course I have to make them a little sparkly. I don't know why. But here is the snake dice bag. And he wraps around this bag in the middle. And it's two pieces, I could take it out, but I just leave it in there and you put your little dice in there. And I just did um, drawstring with the yarn in a sparkly color that came from the yarn for the snake. And here he is with blue eyes. He's pretty sparkly. And yeah, so I figured I'll leave him on my desk or on my bookshelf in my craft room so I can see it because he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. And he is the snake from the book. Uh, Fantastic Fantasy Dice Bags from Heather Heisler from Strings and Threads. That's the book there. Her Dragon Dice Bag is very popular. And I haven't made that one yet. But second one I did make is this Frog Dice Bag. And he's so pretty. I love it. Um, I love green. Green's my favorite color. I put a tennis ball in there to hold the mouth open. But it also has drawstrings. I just use regular black yarn to drawstring it closed if I wanted to. But all the little pieces you do have to sew on or glue on, and I glued them on. And I did the just safety eyes for the eyeballs. But I also added little uh, pearl beads that I had for his little toes. Not sure if a frog only has three toes or not, but it worked out because they were so pretty. And I had six of them. So yeah, that's the frog dice bag. It's so cute. I love it. So yeah, these two are in the book. And I recommend this book to anyone who wants to make any kind of bags for their dice or for just for people who love frogs or people who love snakes and yeah so that's my review of the book i really enjoyed making these two items it didn't take long at all it probably just a couple hours to crochet each one and of course it takes me longer to get things put together and to do a video but um, I just want to thank Heather again for allowing me to have a copy of her book and to give her a review on the book and the dice bags that I made from the book. 
and I hope you enjoyed this and I hopefully will have the link down below to order the book on Amazon and I'm not sure if there's any other way but you could always check with Heather her video or YouTube is strings and threads which is right there strings and threads and yeah so hope you have a good day thanks everyone and thank you bye